Yes guys I am sure you would be shocked looking to me in a new look after 5 months of this lockdown period I have finally trimmed my hairs to this a language cannot be learned only through teaching it needs to be regularly pondered upon and practiced you may have heard practice makes a man perfect but in truth it is the perfect practice that makes a man perfect Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. shall we begin Hi friends and welcome back to channel am I Muhammad Ibrahim architecture and interior designing projects since the previous two videos were on the topic of architectural terminology this would be the last and final video on the same topic so let us start learning the architectural language architectural terminology acoustics it is a specific study of human settlements including original city and community planning and dwelling design This is the process of planning edges of doors and windows which are too tight in their frames. Edifice Edifice the lower part of roof projecting beyond the wall face. Elevation front view or facade of building. Embellishment it is an additional decoration or ornamentation embossed it is a raised work or 3d design impressed into a surface english bond it is a brickwork pattern with alternate course of stretches and headers enamel it is a type of paint hard and is glossy in finish ergonomics it is the science analyzing human beings and how we function in conjunction with a variety of equipments products methods and circumstances to improve our health safety and welfare expansion joint it is a control joint that moves in construction which prevents movement due to thermal effects it is used in large span buildings bridges and flyovers facade front view or elevation of buildings falls ceiling it is the ceiling which is built with a gap from the main ceiling to hide pipes and ducts it is also made for decorative purposes fenestration it is the arrangement of windows in a building finish the final treatment on any surface is known as finish flat arc or flat arch it is a type of arch that is horizontal it is also called jack arch 
flying buttress, detached pier or column or pillar supporting the weight of the wall. Foil Leaf in Gothic Architecture Foundation Substructure on which the building stands It transfers the load to earth Fresco It is a technique of painting in which paint is applied on wet plaster with colors absorbed into the surface. Gauge A height measurement for each course of brickwork. Gazebo Freestanding structure with a roof typically octagonal and open on all sides. Glass block it is a rectangular or square hollow block made of glass. Grout A mixture of cement and water is known as grout. Hipped roof It is a roof connected with by four sloping sides. In situ, it refers to activities, elements and conditions performed on the actual building site. Intrados, it is the inside curve or surface of an arch or vault. Inlay, it is the art of setting one material into the surface of another material creating a decorative pattern. Jam. They are the interior vertical sides of a door or window frame. Keystone. It is the topmost stone of an arch. It locks all the stones together. Landing. It is a level platform between stairs in front of door or top level. Leveling It is a process in surveying used to measure heights. Lentil It is a horizontal structural member, for example, beam spanning small openings like window and door and transfers load of the top surfaces to the wall. Louvers, they are horizontal slates framed at an angle to shed rain and sunlight, often openable. Lumin, it is a unit of light for illumination and brightness. Medallion, it is a large ornamental panel featuring crescent or some other decorative element. MDF which stands for medium density fiber board. It is used as a replacement of natural wood. Mezzanine It is a level or floor between the ground floor and the first floor. Modular it is composed of standardized units or sections for easy construction or fixable arrangement, a modular home, a modular sofa. Mortar It is a plaster made of sand, cement and water used for the laying of the masonry units. Lime was used instead of cement in pre-cement days. Motif 
it is a design or figure that consists of recurring shapes or colors as in architecture or decoration nadir it is the lowest point necropolis it is a burial ground nish it is a recessed wall area often arched or arched at the top and used to display sculptures paneling it is wood or laminate panels applied continuously on an interior wall parapet it is a low wall used for protection in any location like at the edge of a roof or balcony or terrace partition wall it is a non structural interior dividing wall patio it is an outdoor paved area of the house pediment it is a low triangular gable in classical architecture surrounded by a cornice piazza or plaza it is an open public square or a large courtyard in public building pier it is a column supporting vertical loads from a superstructure solid masonry supports with no base or capital pillar it is a free standing vertical column plinth it is an it is an architectural support or base as for column or the wall polis it is the greek word for a city porch it is an open or closed gallery or blast in room attached to a main structure rafter it is an inclined roof framing member extending to the eave from the roof rectilinear it is anything that is characterized by a straight line or lines rendering is the art of various techniques used by artists to make their drawings look as realistic as possible or in a way to express their concepts more effectively scaffold it is a temporary structure used for supporting platforms of building workers section it is a part of that which is cut off or separated skylight it is window installed in a roof to provide additional light to an interior space soffit it is the surface of a ceiling exposed under part of an arch or overhanging cornice specification it is a written document detailing technical quality and quantity information required for a particular project So guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you are new visitor to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for getting the new updates whenever i post a new video and if you want to leave a comment you can leave the comment in the comment section box below and don't forget to share it with your colleagues and friends chalo guys take care bye